What's up everybody, it's Jacob. Every day we bring you guys the best videos around and today we've got Minecraft versus Mario. <laughs> The truth about the Apple Watch. It does so many cool little thingies. And a game show for crows. Can 007 solve the puzzle? Is it over? Everybody is talking about this week's Apple keynote presentation. They unveiled the highly anticipated iPhone 6, and for the first time since the iPad in 2010, they announced a new product. The iPod, the iPhone, the iPad, and now, the iWatch, App Apple Watch, the Apple Watch. Damn, I'm never gonna get used to that. Jack Douglas of Jack's Films posted this just after the announcement. It's already gotten more than a million and a half views. You can even set the date, just like a regular watch. A lot of people are taking shots at Apple, but they're actually being good sports about it. They reposted Ellen's tweet that said, for centuries, we've checked the time by looking at our phones. Having it on your wrist, genius. You guys fired up about the Apple Watch? Let us know in the comments. Cooking with marijuana. The crow is familiar with the individual pieces of the puzzle. He's done each of them separately for a food reward. But this is the first time he's seen them arranged like this. If the bird succeeds, it'll be a world first. Is this a crow game show? What is this? Dr. Alex Taylor taught 007. Yes, the crow's name is 007. How to complete each of these tasks in less than three months. If you want more incredible nature videos like this, BBC Earth has almost a thousand on their channel. Interesting fact, Dr. Taylor teaches these crows how to use tools and then releases them into the wild. Listen, when the crow apocalypse happens, bros before crows. <laughs> Ah, The Shining, great movie. What, you didn't recognize it? Stock footage company Dissolve recreated 14 different blockbusters using nothing but, what else, stock footage. We can't get enough of these guys. This is the third time we featured them. We wanna stop, but we can't. Be honest, how many did you get right? History has seen many great rivalries. Aaron Burr versus Alexander Hamilton. OU Texas. Kanye versus everybody. And now the one that trumps them all, Mario versus Minecraft. This was just posted by one of our favorite young filmmakers, Andrew McMurray. He's only 21. It brings to life the epic showdown of two of the world's most popular video games. Which two video game characters would you like to see duke it out? Personally, I'd like to see Chun-Li versus the prince from Katamari Damashi. That's two completely different styles. New York Fashion Week just ended, but fear not, we have got the High Priestess of Vogue, Anna Wintour here. She's gonna answer 73 burning questions. The fifth episode of Vogue Magazine's newest series just posted. It features the editor-in-chief herself and a really candid interview that's done all in one take. Who is your favorite action star of all time? Hugh Jackman. If you had to name your absolute biggest phobia, what would it be? Spiders. Locali? Hi, Anna, nice to see you. Good question. Leather or lace? Lace. Velvet or fur? Huh. Other episodes feature Sarah Jessica Parker, Blake Lively, even Daniel Radcliffe, who reveals the one thing that he says only he knows about Harry Potter. Stop, Ernest! Okay, Ernest, today's challenger is Andrew Linham. Ernest, I bet you can't find a song sung entirely in Morse code. Hey, Andrew, remember Schoolhouse Rock? This is exactly like that, except in Morse code. Phil Kawa put together this catchy number to teach Morse code to the many dozens who yearn to communicate without words. It was posted earlier this year, and yes, it's available for purchase. The rhythm of the code. A dit is a dot, a da is a dash. The rhythm of the code. Alpha. Nice try, Andrew, but there's a message coming in. Special delivery for you. Boom. If you think you could take him down, post your challenge below with the hashtag Stump Ernest. Last week, Ernest threw out another challenge for you. What is the creepiest slow-mo video that you've ever seen? He got a lot of great responses, but the one that absolutely nailed it came from Benjamin Rivera, AKA BNJ Rivera, who apparently has an irrational fear of eyes. He sent in this optical nightmare from a guy who just happened to be bored in 2011 and decided to film his eye moving around. Congratulations, Benjamin. We always love hearing from you. Sorry, that was mean. Here's Ernest's next challenge. Tweet me the craziest videos involving soda you've ever seen. You got five days to tweet your responses to at Ernest P. Good luck, everybody. Come back tomorrow because we're all going to be facing our worst fears in video form. Mine is Bridges. Now play us out. Dessa. Ain't the center, it's a place they are. I didn't come to pick a fight. I didn't come to wave or take pictures. Hand it to some benefactor. Ring on every broken finger. Won't extend my wings to be clipped. I know the culture here is to stay humble. But if we all go around bowed heads, but lips. But the night might rise up. Investigate the grid.